Advocates with the Convention of States organization are getting ready to push the South Dakota State Legislature to pass their resolution. But if the legislature were to do that, they would be putting aside a complicated history. Our State House reporter Austin Goss explains from the Peer Newsroom. The Convention of States Advocacy Group spent over $200,000 on a number of South Dakota State Senate races in June. Now, they'll ask those same senators they opposed to support their Convention of States resolution. The people uh, have a right to, uh, to have their voice be heard uh, when, uh, when folks aren't, aren't acting, who say they're conservatives, aren't acting like conservatives. Uh, conservatives support Convention of the States, overwhelmingly, 99%. Former presidential candidate and U.S. Senator Rick Santorum is one of the main faces of the effort to pass the resolution. If passed by 34 states, all 50 states would have delegates meet to consider potential amendments to be made to the U.S. Constitution. While the idea has enjoyed an overwhelming majority of its support from Republicans, many others oppose it on the grounds that it could lead to a, quote, runaway convention, where large Democrat-led states like California and New York outnumber smaller red states. The one thing we seem to all be uh, in agreement on is that the federal government is a serious problem. Uh, none of us agree about the right way to do it. I happen to agree with the folks that think this isn't the, that, that there are more risks than uh, opportunity doing it this way. There, there is no good argument that says that this, that this is dangerous. There's nothing dangerous about having 50 states come together and discuss proposed changes to limit the power of the federal government. Santorum will hold a press conference on Convention of States shortly before the governor's annual budget address on Tuesday. In Pierre Austin Goss, Dakota News Network.